This is Mrs. Wainer's math class, chapters 6, 7, and 8, packet F, lesson 7, compare fractions. Today's learning target, by the end of the lesson, you should confidently be able to say, I can use cross multiplication to compare fractions. So let's take a look at example number one. Connor has one fourth of an apple for snack today. Anacle has two thirds of an apple for his snack. Who has more apple? Well, as with any word problem, let's see exactly what they want to know. My question is, who has more apple? Connor has one-fourth of an apple, and Anakal has two-thirds of an apple. So we need to compare and see if one-fourth of Connor's is greater than, less than, or equal to Anakal's. So I'm going to rewrite this problem as one-fourth with a comparison circle, two-thirds. I'm going to put a C right underneath my one-fourth. I'm going to put an A for Connor. I'm going to put an A right underneath my two-thirds for Anakal so I know who's who. Let's move to the next page to see how this is done. So now when I'm comparing fractions, I want to either find first fraction is greater than the second fraction, or less than the second fraction, or equal to the second fraction. That's what I have to put inside my comparison circle. So how do we do that? Well, we are going to do that by cross multiplication. I always go bottom to top. So I am going to say three times one, it goes at an angle, diagonal, 3 times 1 equals 3. Write it up here and circle it. Now I'm going to go the other bottom to top. 4 times 2 equals 8. Write it and circle it. Now all I simply need to do is to compare the numbers in the circle. I'm comparing 3 and 8. Well that's pretty easy. Is 3 greater than, less than, or equal to 8? 3 is less than 8. So therefore, one-fourth is less than two-thirds. So again, we're going to do cross multiplication, bottom to top on a diagonal, write the answer in the circle, bottom to top on the diagonal, write the answer in the circle, and then you are simply just comparing these two whole numbers. And that's how we solve comparisons of fractions. The answer was one-fourth is less than two-thirds. The question says, who has more apple? Well, I see C, Connor, has less than Anacle, so the answer would be Anacle has more apple. That's the final answer. Please stop the video and complete worksheet number one right now. Let's check out example two. Nick completed three-fifths of his homework in school. Jack completed 15 25ths of his homework in school. Who completed more homework? Well, the question is asking me, who completed more homework? What do I know? I th know that Nick completed 3 fifths of his homework, and I know that Jack completed 15 25ths of his homework. So I'm going to compare 3 fifths. How does that compare to 15 25ths? So that I remember, 3 fifths is Nick. I'll put an N. 15 25 is what Jack completed. I will put a J. Okay, let's solve this problem. So again, to compare fractions, my answer is either going to be greater than, less than, or equal to, and I am going to use cross multiplication bottom to top. So I'm going to do 25 times 3, which is 75. I think about money, 25 cents times 3 is 75 cents. Put it in a circle. I say 15 times 5. I don't know that off the top of my head, so I'll use a little scrap paper. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 carry the 2. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 is 7. So 75 goes in the circle. Now I have to compare the, 75, the two numbers that are in the circle, the 75 and the 75. Well, that's pretty easy. Is 75 greater than, less than, or equal to 75? It is equal to 75. So therefore, 3 fifths is equal to 15 20 fifths. Well, if they're equal, what does that mean for my problem? Well, Nick's 3 fifths was equal to Jack's 15 20 fifths. So who completed more homework in school? Both boys completed the same amount of homework in school. And that's my final answer. Please stop the video and complete worksheet number 2 right now. Let's take a look at example three. Amber ran around the track three and three fourth times. Jenna ran around the track three and four fifth times. Who ran the least? Okay, my question is, 
who ran the least. I don't want to know who ran more um, or what the differences were. I just really want to know who ran the least. Okay, well, what do I know? I know that Amber ran three and three fourths times, and I know that Jenna ran three and four fifths times. I'm going to take Amber's time amount, three and three fourths. I'm going to compare that to Jenna's amount, three and four fifths. And what I'm going to be looking for here is which one is the least. Okay, let's write that on the next page and solve it. Well, I have fractions, but I certainly can't cross multiply because I can't multiply mixed numbers. It can only multiply simple straight fractions. I know what to do though when I see a mixed number. I can ch -ch 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 change it into an improper fraction. I learned how to add before I learned how to multiply. 4 times 3 is 12, and 12 plus 3 is 15. Denominator stays the same. So 3 and 3 fourths has turned into 15 fourths. Redraw my comparison circle, and let's change the next one. Ch -ch 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 change. I learned how to add before I learned how to multiply. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 plus 4 is 19, and my denominator stays the same. So 3 and, three, 3 and 4 fifths has turned into 19 fifths. Now that I have full fractions, I can grow it, go ahead and cross multiply. I'm going to say my 5 times my 15, a little scrap paper, and I find out that 15 times 5 equals 75. So that's a 75. I'll circle it so I don't get confused. Now I have the 4 times the 19. Again, I'll use some scrap paper. And I find out that 19 times 4 equals 76. So this is a 76. So I'm going to use my greater than, less than, or equal to symbol. 75 is less than 76. So my answer was less than, therefore Amber ran less than Jenna. So the question says, who ran the least? Amber ran the least. And that's my final answer. Please stop the video and complete worksheet number three right now. And let's do a final example, one more with the mixed numbers, so we make sure we understand how to do that really well. Daniel drank one and five ninths water bottles during field day. Alexa finished one and three sevenths water bottles that day. Did Daniel drink more or less water than Alexa? So I want to know, did Daniel drink more or less than Alexa? Okay, what do I know? Well, I know that he drank one and five ninths, and I know that Alexa drank one and three sevenths bottles. So I have Daniel's amount, which is one and five ninths, and I want to know if it's greater than, less than, or equal to, so I'll put my comparison symbol, Alexa's water, which was one and three sevenths bottle. Let's move this to the next page. And again, I cannot cross multiply yet because I have mixed numbers and I can't multiply mixed numbers. So I'm going to ch -ch -ch change this into an improper fraction. Learned how to add before I learned how to multiply. So 9 times 1 is 9, plus 5 is 14. Denominator stays the same, so 1 and 5 ninths has turned into 14 ninths. But first I learned how to add before I learned how to multiply. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 3 is 10. Denominator stays the same. So I am going to compare 14 ninths to 10 sevenths. Now I have fractions, I can cross multiply. I'm going to do 7 times 14. I don't know that, so I use scrap. As Amber once said, scrap is a girl's best friend. So 7 times 4 is 28, 8 carry the 2. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 2 is 9. This will be a 98, and circle it. On this side I have 9 times 10 which is 90, and circle it. 98 is greater than 90. Let's go back to my original problem. My answer was greater, so that Daniel drank a greater amount than Alexa. Question said, did Daniel drink more or less water than Alexa? So Daniel drank more water, and that's my final answer. Please stop the video and complete worksheet number four right now. So let's review. To compare fractions, we write the first given fraction, a comparison circle, and the second fraction. Then we cross multiply, bottom to top on the diagonal, and write our answer above it, circling it. We cross multiply on the other diagonal, bottom to top, write our answer, and circle it. 
And all we're doing then is comparing those two numbers in the circle. In this case, 3 is less than 8, so the answer is less than. Remember, if we have mixed numbers, first we need to ch -ch change our mixed numbers into improper fractions. And once we have full fraction by full fraction, we can compare. And again, we cross multiply from bottom to top, so we have 7 times 14. We write the answer above it and circle it, and then bottom to top again on the diagonal, 9 times 10 equals 90. We write it down and circle it, and then we're simply comparing our whole numbers. In this example, 98 was greater than 90, therefore 14 ninths is greater than 10 sevenths, which means that 1 and 5 ninths is greater than 1 and 3 sevenths. Hopefully by now you can confidently say, I can use cross multiplication to compare fractions. As always, we will practice in class. If you need any help, please see a teacher. Good luck with this lesson.